Hello everybody, it's Wasan19 and welcome back to Monthly 2 Banner Lord and my guide to getting your character step by step to becoming a mercenary or a vassal and have a really, really good character and clan. So in this episode, we have two objectives. We want to start our trading and we want to get wives. Wives is the real hard part to go ahead and get done. Because getting a wife for your brother is very easy. You just talk to the leader of the clan or father and pay and you got a wife. Simple. You have to go through a lot more hoops. So you have to plan that out very carefully. We will do that in a bit. First thing we want to do is we want to get our horses. Now we're going to go ahead and sell off stuff, although I want to make sure you've got some gear if you need it. All right, that's done. Get rid of all that. Now, horses, desert horses. Uh, let's put on my name. That way they appear there. Get as many as you can. Now you want to watch out for your herd penalty. You're going to get a herd penalty out of it. The herd penalty is calculated like this. You're allowed any one horse, any horse, for each person in your party. Then you are allowed one riding horse, which is a horse or a war horse, for each cavalry, or excuse me, for each non-cavalry and infantry, somebody not on a horse for them to ride. Anything over that and you will start getting a herd penalty. We are going to take all of these. These are going to sell big. Look at how much money we have left. We have 7,000. Now we have a herd yet. We are starting to get a herd penalty. Watch our speed at 5.1. 3.1. We're getting a massive herd penalty. So from right here, I don't want to go much lower than that. 3.2 is really slow. So we still have 5,000 left. We're, as you can see, we're making money so we can go broke. Now let's offset it by buying some of this stuff here. Beer is a very good thing to buy. So we're going to buy some beer. And I didn't do the charcoal. But we'll get to that in a moment. Beer is good. Dates is really good to buy. And if you want, you can buy fish. Although we're not going to buy fish. Uh, let's get some grain so we we make sure that we don't run out. And we'll get some meat as well. We have to get some meat back. Okay. Now, the charcoal. Remember how two hardwood made a charcoal and we paid 21 for the hardwood? So each charcoal, anything over 42 is profit. 111. I forgot to sell it. That was all profit. Now, we won't get any trade EXP for it because we didn't buy the charcoal. So that is something that I should have done that I didn't do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go head up to Sanala. Uh, also, buy, um, get troops. Because your herd penalty, as I told you, is calculated on your party size. You're allowed one of any horse for everyone in your party. And then you're allowed one non, for every non-cavalry, you're allowed a horse to ride. So these are all non-cavalry except for him. So all these guys can take a horse. So anything over that is a herd penalty. So it's, it's a little hard to think about. But all you have to remember is everybody can pull one horse behind them. And then all your people that are on foot can ride a horse. That is why you get so much more of a herd penalty taking mules. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up to Sanala. As you can see, oh, I didn't do that. Watch me. I'm at 3.23 speed. Recruit these three. 3.46. You want troops. The more troops you have, the less herd penalty you're going to have. And we can have 68 now. That is one of the reasons why Steward was so important to raise. 
it increases how many troops you can have. So as you can see, they do not have that. They have Asurai horses. For some reason, they just don't have the quest. Um, unfortunately, that is a cav, even though it is a very good cav. Um, unfortunately, they I can't have two horses. You can only pull one horse behind him. We're taking two more. That's going to increase us. We're already up to 3.7. Like I said, grab a bunch of tier ones. Even peasants. Now they're going to eat food. That's the only downside. But that's why we took the perks to reduce food consumption. And here we'll be able to pick up. Ooh, thank you. Four speed already. Now we can pick up some fish as well. So we are going to go over here and we can't sell much in the way of charcoal. But now, as you can see, fish is only seven. We're going to pick up all the fish we can. We'll be able to sell that fish. So now we're going to go to... Uh, we'll look and pick up troops here. We want to max out our troops. I don't have the money. Eh, I got to wait a day. That's why you want to get those workshops, because now you're making money in it every day. So, wait for that to hit a day. So we get money. All right, there's our money. We made 400. So now we can go ahead and grab some more troops so we can move faster. And there's a fine line that you have to walk between taking too many horses and moving slow and not taking enough. If you don't take enough, you don't make money. If you take too many, you're going to make a lot of money, but you're going to take longer to do it. So there's a fine line that you have to learn where you can cross. Now, this is also a good spot in which you could technically sell grain from Asgar and buy fish. As you can see, they have fish for eight. Look at what they're buying grain for. They're buying the grain for 10. We could have bought it for five or six. So that is something also that you can look at. I am happy with what we have. I do not want to buy anything. The beer is a little expensive at 26. I'm going to keep the money how we have it right now. Um, I could buy some more mules if I wanted to. It would drop our herd. It would give us more of a herd penalty. So I don't think I'm going to do it. We can get two more troops and that will max us out. We're at 4.3, so we increased our speed a lot. So it was actually very smart for me to take additional horses, because while we started at a 3.2, we're already up to a 4.3, so our speed is much faster. We can take one more. See our steward going up? We're already up to 97. And there's our 69. Good old 69. So now we're going to go sell horses. If you can, get rid of them in, you know, these. And then that way these are starving for horses. Run back down and grab more. Don't be afraid to all of a sudden say, okay, I only got 20 horses left. Let's run back down. Don't flood the market full of horses. And there's a lord. We want to check for him with a quest. Also, check to make sure that your steward hasn't allowed you to take an extra troop. So they might not be as expensive. Okay. So, once again, we're over 400. We can sell. For the war horses, don't sell for less than 1,900. Trust me on it. Mules. We pick up mules for about 40 or 50. You could technically sell them all the way down to 100 and be making double the profit. So at first, don't be afraid to get rid of some to bring down that herd penalty. Boom, we gained a level. We are now going to start putting it into smithing. Because that's the next thing we're going to do. So we got a lord right there that has a quest. Let us see. This will, this Durther, it'll mess you up because 
you got to give up troops to do this delivery quest. And it takes 14 days to do. However, you can make really good money. Can I help you with a problem? The house is near the town square in Jacqueline. I need someone to go there and c extract my clansmen. I would be easy for you to pull off the debt, of course, but I really want you to give a good threatening to these scum who think they are hard. Make an example of them. Everyone understands the hypocrisy of holding a nobleman's relative. I have not seen this before. It's going to take 11 men 15 days to do it. I want to do this myself. I've never done this before. Alright, so it looks like we're going to have to attack the gang. So I need to get my people with some... I think that's all it is, is attacking the gang. So first of all... 1700 is a little bit low. I will get rid of a couple of them right now. Just because I only paid 800 for them. Desert horses, way above the mark. Anything over 400 is good. The fewer you have on you, the less... You, you really need to sell for. I should say, you know, you want to keep the price a little bit higher. As you can see, 193 for the mules. I didn't do this at the last town. Look at this. I paid 11 for these. Beer. Um, that's not a great price for beer. I'm going to hold on to the beer. Fish. I paid 7 for. And we're actually going to be able to pick up fish. In the next town. So look at how much we gained. 16,000. Look at all that. And that's getting us towards our next level as well. We're 69 again. Everything comes up, comes up 69 for some reason. But I want to go check this out. And I think I'm going to leave this on recording. Uh, we need to make sure our guys have equipment for this. I do not have a weapon. It's not very fast. Wow. I have a feeling most of my people are going to be able to come with me on this. He just got a club. Oh, I don't like how he's... I hope that doesn't mean he has that in town. I like that one much better. I want to use that one. I was like debating on whether or not I wanted to do this on recording. But I haven't done this before. Don't really need boots. I don't know how many people are going to be able to come with me on the mission, though. And then buy it the best.
All right, we're all set up for it. I think we'll just have to defeat the gang leaders. So first thing, let's gather our companions. Okay, um... Why will it not let me gather all my companions? It's only got one. He's the only one with me. All right. So, uh, who do we have to see again? Ah, I can't remember who it is. Since it's only my brother with me, I want to give him a better weapon. Oh, wow. Now I can't use it. We'll have to get the waste the weapon. I'll wait until we can get one. We'll we'll get we'll get one for him. Rancid Drushed. Wait a minute. Jacqueline, are we in Jacqueline? Yeah. So let's go find the rancid. Normally they have companions, but maybe that's only in villages. But, yeah, you used to be able to gather all your companions together. Where is Rancid? Rancid's house, 44 meters. This is where you wish you had the athletics. Yeah, I don't see all my other companions. They're only bringing one in with you. That's where I'd want it to be my wife. Oh, he's pretty good. I'm worried about how many we have to go after and take, though. We've entered the door. Damn. There were three of them. So I failed it. Um, I think I might come back to that later. The save. And I think I might want to try that again. In fact, let me save that. Oh, I can't save that now. So let's save this as, I want to try that again. I want to see what that actually gives. So let us continue on. It's just some, that was new. Oh, here's a, here's a Lord. You want to talk to them in case. He only does Nuretsi's folly.
So he doesn't have anything for you to do. He's a Nuretti's folly person. Um, can I take any more? No, nope, so that's 69. They have fish here. So you could technically buy more fish to take up north. Alright, once again, not the greatest price. No, I think I'll hold on to these. Olive's so good. Alright. Now we're going to go to Pravend. Pravend, you're not going to really sell much. You're just selling the horses. But if we go up towards Ostakin and Revolt, they're, they're going to probably have good prices for horses by now. There is our hundred, which we are taking Efficient Campaigner. One of the best perks there is. Wages reduced by 25% while in an army. Most of the time, when I'm a vassal or I own my own kingdom, I'm going to be in an army. Alright, price a little bit better. There you go. The desert horses are good. And a little bit better for the mules as well. So that's good. Um, beer is okay. Not great. But here's where I said you could pick up a ton of stuff. We're almost 75 trade. You only got to get to 125. It's pretty quick to get 100. The last 25, that drags a little bit. Once again, still not the greatest for those. I might get rid of one. And still not the greatest price, so I think, although, as you can see there, we paid 7 The fish is 13 So we'll definitely get rid of some fish. And there, we're at 78 now. We only got 42 to go. And um, I'm not going to have caravans. Although I do love 15% decrease in buying price from villages. Animals are not horses. I don't believe they are. Um, so I like that because I do buy from villages on a somewhat regular basis. I don't believe, you know, I should probably get a confirmation on that. So what we're going to do after this is we're going to run all the way back down to Asgard again to get more horses. That I will probably cut out. We're just going to beeline it straight down there. Now for you, you'll want to stop off and check villages, check towns for tournaments, companions. Now there's a good price for them. The price goes down quick, but that is a great price. And a really good price for them as well. Really good price. And you can see how much. Thirty one, we only paid like twelve for it. Twenty two thousand almost. Look at that. We're already up to eighty six. We only got thirty nine to go and we're done. Thirty nine more points. That was me putting that extra point into social. It allowed us to go a lot quicker. You can save 10 to 30 days by doing that. It's a spent point that you could use someplace else. But it will let you go a lot quicker. Now, as you can see, I still have 12 war horses left. I will not get rid of them. Don't be afraid to hold on to horses.
Now get rid of the beer because we still have our four food. Now we have plenty of food to make it back. And 92. This goes to smithing. We only need now 32 points and we're done. So once again, we are going to do the same thing we just did. We are going to take all these horses because they're under 300. We are going to take just a couple of the war horses. They're a little expensive and we're not selling many. We are going to take the mules as many as we can possibly take. And I will sit at a 4.4 speed. Um, we could take actually a little bit less than that. Let's get up to a five speed. All right, we'll deal with a five speed. It's not as many horses, but I'm fine with that. Now, once again, we have a ton of room sitting here. So let's grab all the dates, all the butter, all the beer. Now, let us head up to Sanala. We're going to go pick up some more dates, some more beer, and some fish. We still have 48,000. Like I said, you can get your brother any old wife you want. Or you can go for the high class wife. I kind of want to go with the high class wife just to show you what you would normally do in a game and how long it would take. So as you can see, Fisher 8, they're starting to go up in price. We want to be careful. I'll buy till 9. We don't want to buy more than that. Um, the dates... They're cheap. They're only 11. We'll buy all of them. And the beer, that's starting to get up there as well. We'll take that up to 29. And we just went technically overweight as well. So I'm very happy with where that's at. And we still have 33,000. Can we grab another troop? We can grab two more. Now, what are we going to do? We're going right back up. To Sargat to go sell once again. You can stop off from Quayas to um, sell grain as I explained before and buy more fish but I think we're pretty good with where we're at right now. So the next thing we have to be thinking in our head is do we have an opportunity to get a wife because those are the two things we're missing. So we really want to look out for that while we're on our travels. If you come up to a big pack of looters, it's also advisable to take out the looters. It'll get you skill because you need to have 70 skill to use a noble bow. Also, we want to start working our polearm. As soon as we get done with all these points in smithing, then we're going to start working on these skills. So when you're fighting looters, you're gaining skill. You're gaining riding, bow, you want to gain all that so you can get your smithing as fast as possible. And that's another good reason for doing tournaments. But we want to pump that smithing as fast as possible because it all depends on how much smithing we really have to do. Now, I was looking to see if we would run into Aldric. Because Aldric, Arwa is, wow, they changed. Arwa is Kuzite, but she's married. Oh, that's why. She got married to a Vlandian. That's why she changed. Okay. 1700 I'm going to sell one. As you can see, the prices aren't great because we just got done selling here. Meat. Wow, that's a great price for meat. But we didn't buy much meat. Fish is 13. We're going to sell fish because we can actually buy fish. Uh, I went a little too high on my number here. Like I said, you can look for tournaments. We're not doing that. What we're really looking for is I would like, I'd li I bet you Aldrich's going to be there. Aldrich, I believe it's Aldrich, is Liena's father. I wouldn't mind grabbing Liana.
not the greatest price. 52 on the beer. We paid less than 30. I'll take it down to 40. I'll take this down to 20. And the fish, we're going to dump off because we're about to pick up more fish. And there we go. More points. We're up to 96. Soon we're going to have to go search for wives because now we're starting to flood the market. And that's what we want to be careful of. Uh, 1700 I'll sell one. Uh, the only 370 not good. 110 not good. Beer, we'll take it down to 40. Dates, we'll take it down to 20. And now we could technically buy some more of the fish. We can go sell that back up north. And we look to be good on everything else. We could buy some butter. That's cheap. We could buy some meat. That is cheap. That is really cheap. Ninety-seven trade. Twenty-eight to go. Like I said, if we run into Aldrich, I'm worried he's going to go into that army. Oh, Durthurts. Now, because we failed the quest, I don't think he'll give us another one. He will. Horses. He's going to want... What does he want? Saddle horses. I don't have them. Now, this is what you can do. Ah... You need at least eight. I can technically do it. He'll pay 3,000 for the mission. I got to send eight cavalry troops. I can make cavalry. And how you do that is with your nomads. These nomads will turn into cav. And then I'll have enough. But they use a horse. I'll use up a horse. Though so to me, it's not worth it. Now, is Aldrich in here? Aldrich is not in here. His castle is there. I'm wondering if he's in his castle. That would be a great time to pick up a wife. The one thing, though, is there's a huge difference between actually getting your wife and paying for a wife for your brother. And that is, when you get a wife for your brother, it can be extremely expensive. And I am not joking when I say expensive. I've seen upwards of 40000 for a wife. Let's look and see if Aldrich is there. We can kill two birds with one stone. And I think he is at his castle. He is at his castle. Now, you only got one shot at this. If you don't take it, then you really, it's going to take you forever to do it. Something I'd like to discuss through marriage. Yes, Leanna. Very good. How much? He doesn't want much. He only wants 1400 14000 Oh, I have, no, he only wants 1400 Made it look like fourteen thousand there, but it's only one four zero five. All right, so my brother now has a wife. Now all I do is I just need my wife, and we are all set. Now she will probably divert back. Um, he's t he's taking that, so we're gonna go up here. We can come and loop back around because we finished. Our quest in Jocelyn, she will most likely be in Jocelyn. See that? 
that's something that you could go after. But here's another thing you can do. When you come up to meeting these guys, we're not looking to train my troops. I'm not looking to do that, although I think I have fours with me. Pull all your troops back and just send your companions out. There go my companions. They're going to go out and they're going to gain skill. So when you have the opportunity, send them out there. Now they're also going to run. This will be the perfect opportunity for you to gain skill with your pull arm. Or if you're lacking with your bow, you can use your bow to gain skill. See the skills in the lower left? I can go ahead and gain skill with my bow. And I have a very good bow right now. If they, This is the only problem with having too many of them. They move. They're just jumping back and forth between people. See how they keep constantly moving? See that? I go to hit one. Now what you do is tell them to move. I told all my companions to run away. Why? Because I want the skill. You want set you need 70 to use a noble bow. So this is the opportunity for you to work on your skill. When you come across them. Don't just get right up to them. Got them. As you can see, I gained two. I'm at 58. I'm only 12 away from Noble Bow. And I gained riding. And that all goes to EXP towards smithing. So that's something you can do. You're having your companions gain skill as well. So stop off and go after those looters. Um, not good prices at all. This is what happens when you flood the market. The market is flooded. So now what I need to do is I need to stop. And I need to go look for a wife. I've got to let them use up those horses so that way I can get maximum money from them. So now I want to pick who is my wife. I, of course, want Ap Apollonia. She's my favorite. She's in Sturgeon territory. You can also sell, as you can see, nothing is really good here. You can also go selling in Sturgeon territory. So now what we want to do is we want to go find Miss Apollina, Apollonia, whatever her name is. Uh, one of my subscribers told me about her and she is amazing. There she is. So let's go get her. Now we're going to take the time out to go grab her. Then once we have her, all we have to do is finish up our trade, grab our smithing materials, and smith. So we're pretty much on track. Now I'm going to save Scum Her to take the time away so it doesn't take forever. And in my opinion on that is, is I don't think it's a terrible thing to do. All right. You're going to get that from me right up front. Now I'll buy some more mules. Just because we're sitting okay on our herd penalty. And check for food here as well. See, see if they can buy it. Um, dates are at 26. That's, that's okay. I'll, I can do that. And now, check for a tournament. The lords of the land will want horses from those lands. That's what you have to remember. All right. That's a decent price. I can sell. I'll sell two of them. I'll sell a couple of them. That's a decent price.
That's a decent price for grapes. I'll buy a little bit of grapes. Uh, the grain I'm starting to get low on, but uh, it's only, what, six? I can buy some grain. All right. Tournament. And we'll join a tournament. Why not? Help skill. Maybe we'll get a good item. That armor is pretty darn good. Uh, for a non-cab, it is really good. You're only going to... Because you don't need really leg armor. And we haven't qualified yet. We need one more person to go out and we qualify. And I'm almost out of life, so... I'm trying to wait and see. We need that blue guy to get hit. Alright, we've qualified. I gained a little bit of skill. Alright, two on two. Ah, oh, runs way ahead of me. Oh, I hate that. Got him. Whew. I hate it when they run ahead of you. You got to be really smart about it. Another two on two. You got a bow. Yep. And you're gone. The only thing you worry about is overhand. So watch if they're going to go overhand. If they do, back up. Back up. He'll switch. There. Block. And you're gone. There you go. That's really good armor for a non-cap. For like an infantry captain. Really good. Has very good body armor. As you can see. Um... You can see it's got very good body armor. 24. That's a lot. Alright, now this is what I wanted to show you for smithing. You want to hold on to these. Because we're going to be able to have that turn into two charcoal. Three of them makes two. It only costs one to refine it. So we this gets you a free charcoal. When you have the skill. Where's all my other stuff that I had blocked off? Where did it go? I had a whole bunch of other stuff. How did that get sold? See, I well, don't know what happened to all my other stuff. Huh. Alright. So we're going to go find Miss Apollina. We got to go talk to her. Thankfully, it doesn't look like she's that far away. Also, you can check to see if this has Batanian War Mounts. They don't have a quest for it, though. But we want to go find her. See, Liana's gaining that. Um, this does not update. You'll see it says one day ago. Every time you enter any type of settlement, it updates. 
So now to give us her updated position, she is now in Omar. So we go get our wife. And then if we want, we could go hit Kuzite territory. We could check for more bandit bases. Because we're almost near there. You can see where we're at right now. Or if we get her right away. But we still got to go find her father once we're done with this. Is she in there? She's not in there, and I don't think the father is. I'm having a hard time remembering the father. She should be there. Savannah. I prefer, I really want to show you Apollonia. Why she's so amazing. Hopefully she's here. I I can't remember if that's Spana's or I can't remember who it is. All right, give me just a moment. Let me get her as a a wife, and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, I got Little Miss Apollonia. And I had a 93, an 80, and a 93% chance. That's basically a coin flip. And it took me six tries. You know how hard it is to flip a coin and get six heads or six tails in a row? That's how difficult that was. So, we got 100 trade. Which is double relations with merchants, not artisans. This is um, gang leader because one died. Uh, gang leader, they're out of place. Merchant. And you can see there's one artisan, but there's normally two merchants. And merchants also give you escort caravans and caravan ambush. So I want the double relation with merchants. Now, there's Leanna. We got to pick her up. But let me show you Miss... And I did not do his skills yet. This is little Miss Apollon, uh, Apollonia. She's only level 17. And look at her skills. I can mold her to virtually anything I want. Now, she, unfortunately, she didn't get smithing. It would have been nice if the endurance was a little higher and she had a point into smithing. But, as you can see, she has enough weapon skill that she could be proficient in anything. She's got riding. She's got a little bit of bow already. Tactics, leadership, medicine. She's. I can basically anything I want her to become. She can even run a group. We put one point into this and it's unhard capped. Her cap would then be... 72, I believe, with just one point. Two points would put it up to 112. So that's why I love her. Uh, I did not check her weapons. She does have... I cannot tell if that's the good one or not. There's a, a really good one. Uh, pole arm. One of them's worth like 120,000. It's Rumbola or something like that. Now I have the wife. I have both wives. And they should both... She might not be down there yet. Uh, says yeah, they're says they're all staying at Mizea. Wow. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to go head down that way to pick them up. And there is a reason why I do that. One of the things you can do while you're doing the trading is you can go ahead and have them be emissaries. Now, when you're doing the smithing. You obviously want them to be in your group to gain skill. However, you don't need them when you're doing the trading. So figure out where is going to be your base of operations. Think to yourself, who are you going to join and where is going to be your main base? 
then go put the family members in that town or that town and a couple surrounding it and start gaining relation. We got our level, which goes to smithing. So let's make sure that they haven't moved. No, there's, there's all still there. So that way you can start gaining relation with that specific area. You just need to think to yourself, well, where am I going to be based out of? And I could have started buying weapons, but it probably would have been smart to do, but I wanted to hold on to my money. So what you can do now is grab Liana. And I'm not sure why she isn't here. Where did she go? She's still holding. So she's in a holding pattern. Now, what does Liana have? That's pretty damn good. She did not have it. She's just got a mace. So we're going to actually take that off of her. She didn't get my horse. It's a good one, though. Destur is a really good horse. And she got chainmail barding. So we're going to actually leave her as a three. We're not going to make her a four. And... She just doesn't have the skill, but uh, that holding pattern's got me a little mad because I don't know where she's going to go. Normally what happens is when you get a wife, their party has to slowly travel back to whatever their base of operations. Let's say we got Liana, and Liana's party was way down here. She would instantly leave the party, go into holding, and this army would have to travel all the way up here to establish... Then she gets out of holding. So I don't know where her army is. It said last seen at Marinoth. So I'm not sure where she's going to. Which is not a good thing right now. Because we want to work on our last bit. Which is trading. So I'm a little concerned right now. With where she's going to go. She's still in that stuck holding pattern, which I don't like. So what I could think to myself is, and I'll do it like this right now. I'm thinking I'm going to fight either with the Kuzite or the Empire. So I'm going to purposely establish my characters to where they're going to gain in this area. So a Nira could be the first thing we take. So what am I going to do first? I'm going to drop my big brother off. Now, this is, of course, if you're not playing, if you're playing death off. If you got death on, you don't want to do this. So we're going to drop Liana off here. She is now going to be an emissary. We are now going to go hit Odaka. Because I might want Kuzite troops. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but I think this is where my base of operations is going to be. So now I'll go drop off my big brother so he can be an emissary in here. Now this isn't the greatest town for the Kuzite because it has low prosperity. And notables in a town is related to the prosperity. Once they hit 3,000, an additional notable will spawn. So as you can see, there's only three. I will now drop off my brother here. Now I'm gaining in two different locations. She finally released and she's in Mysaia. I'm going to leave her there. And I'm going to leave her there for a reason. Now I'm going to end up picking her back up. And there is a reason why I'm doing this. Normally, yes, leave him there. However, that's not going to be my track of how I'm going to gather my smithing materials. Gathering your... Actually, it is. You should stop off in Oatengard. But 
we'll get to that smithing in just a moment. So I'm going to leave her in, in my Zaya, I think it's called. So we have everything done off our checklist. So now that I've dropped them off and they're going to be gaining relation in these three towns, which we will now drop him off. And now we can actually get more troops, as you can see. Let me just take all. So now all we have left to do is get 125 smithing, which we only need 25 more, gather our materials, and smith. That is all we have left to do. And we want to have that done by day 300. We are only on day 128. We have 172 days to get that done, to be on track to where we want to be. So that will do it for this episode. In the next episode, all we're going to do is come back down here. If we have an opportunity to grab a deliver the herd, we'll do that. If not, we're going to trade Askar to Valandia for the last 25 points and prepare for smithing. So I will see you in the next one. Take care. And thanks for watching.